So the first scenario was a 32 year old lady, uh, G4A3. That means previous three first trimester abortions on aspirin and low molecular weight heparin. Now she is 22 weeks. Okay. Presented with the abdomen, lower abdominal pain for two days and discharge PV. You on examine normal. Vitals were normal, but uh, uterus corresponding to 22 weeks. Fetal heart was present. Os was closed. PV naturally, PV is not done. Uh, ultrasound is showing 22 weeks and uh, cervix is short 20. Okay. And but it is closed at uh, uh, two only two centimeter or but uh, maybe internal loss naturally will be open, but the external loss is closed. Uh, what about the management part? Yeah. See, now if you read through that thing again, it is actually three first trimester loss. So actually, it doesn't come under uh, purview of having to put a cyclage. But if you ask me, will you put? I will say, I will put. Do you understand? Because we should not lose. Now, what has happened to this lady exactly that? She is apparently, she must be an Apla positive because she's on aspirin and low molecular, low molecular weight. Apparently. Yeah. And now she has come as far as 22 weeks. So she has crossed her first trimester loss uh, period. And now she's at 22 weeks. And right enough, she has come with lower abdominal pain and discharge PV. So maybe she is getting into preterm labor because we said anytime after 20 weeks. Now, if you ask me what I would do, I'll just tell you a few things which runs through my mind. First of all, let the pain subside. Okay. Would you give tocolytic agents? Uh, it's a big question to ask. Now, um, will I give? I may not give. Do you know why? Because it's only 22 weeks. So that is just my, because it's a pre-viable state. I may not give. If she is to get progress with the thing uh, pains, I will have to watch and see. Normally, I would not have given. But when I see some contractions happen, she's had three first trimester loss. Because of that, I might give, but otherwise I would not give it. One. Second is, will I add a progesterone? Yes. What type of progesterone? I would give an oral progesterone. And probably she would have been on oral progesterone, but if she has not been on oral progesterone, good enough, you can give her a didroprogesterone. Didrogesterone, you can give 10 milligrams. Madam, uh, uh, ideally, these type of cases, they will be on progesterone. And progesterone usually, yeah, they will yeah, be on yeah. progesterone. Okay. Then the third thing is about the cyclage. Okay, cyclage, yes, I will put a cyclage, as I told you all. So, will I give tocolytics? Normally, I wouldn't. But because it is so precious a pregnancy, maybe. So it is not because it's uh, indicated, but I would give out of sure thing because she's lost her first three. Will I give uh, progesterones? Yes. If she has not been on progesterones, I will put her on progesterones. And will I do a cyclage? Yes, I will do a cyclage. The patient. patient is also complaining of discharge PV. So yeah. what about your, uh, you take swab or you start antibiotics or as she is having symptom. Otherwise, uh, we don't have any role of yeah. antibiotics here. Yeah. yeah. When you told me that discharge, you know what I really thought, Ashwit? Maybe because when the cervix dilates, whenever you see a discharge, it means there's cervical dilatation. So like the mucus plug coming out, I thought that's what you meant by that. So if there is that, that means there is some cervical changes. All the more reason, let the uterus become quiescent and then you put the cyclage, you give the progesterone, etc. and take care of this pregnancy.